went to VidCon and cool things happened, played games, signed things, pictures were a snappin'. Six years it has been since my very first VidCon. And now to be featured, well, I'm glad I hung on. So to you, my explainers, I give a hearty backslap. And without further ado, here's the last VidCon recap. I went a couple days early to get the La La Land view, played Smash with the Odd Boy, did a famous birthdays interview, hung out with Danebo of annoying orange fame, we ate crepes and drove listening to rock without shame. Checked into VidCon the Wednesday before, and that night went to a party for the Animators. Hannah Hoffman was host, and nearly everyone was there. It was nice to relax before the VidCon fanfare. The first official day, there was plenty to do, and I started off my schedule by meeting a lot of you. My first real meet and greet went unbelievably well. I'm glad it wasn't awkward, and that I didn't smell. Or I did, and you guys were too nice to say anything. Did a podcast later. It went well, I would decree. It was hosted by the guys responsible for marketing poopery. That night, I sat wingside for a show of great wit. James and Alex chess boxing, though it was James who got hit. I rushed back that night to VidCon to make the YouTube soiree. Dane and I found some costumes that might make your hair go gray. Anthony Padilla was there, so friendly and sweet. Swapped digits with Ethan, met iDubs finally. Next morning was Make-A-Wish, and I am so glad they asked. It's Carter Branch here, and VidCon is an absolute blast. To help kids like Carter realize their dreams, you can click the link below to help the Make-A-Wish team. Donate to their cause, just let me explain. Other kids will be helped by their Summer Wishes campaign. Afterwards, security took me to the Creator Inc. booth, where my merch was being sold, and I met more of you. Shortly after, security rushed me away like a blur for my creator chat, where I rambled like a nerd. Animation hopefuls so passionate and smart listened as I jabbered. Bless their patient hearts. The Instagram lounge was peaceful, and I found some peeps I knew. Jacksepticeye was there, and Jaden, Dave, and Rumi too. Brought Dane to the expo party, both of us a starving mess, but the food ran out instantly, much to our hungry distress. Later, we hopped a bus with Jazza and something else YT. Our bus driver nearly got lost going to the Studio 71 party. We waited in line for a bit, holding back our hungry strife. Someone asked me if last year I was pregnant, thinking I was Jazza's wife. We laughed that off and went inside and finally got some food. But it was loud and very crowded, and I just wasn't in the mood. Poor Adam hated the flashing lights. His eyes, they felt attacked. I gave him my sunglasses, but I never got them back. Eh, yeah, but at least he looked good. The next day at noon, I headed back to the con. The staff hailed me a shuttle, and I awkwardly jumped on. I nearly headbutted Link, stumbling into the car. Then Rhett turned and said, Hey, I know who you are. <gasps> oh my. Not much later, it was time for the Animation Stars panel. Dane moderated, and we all talked about cartoons and our channels. Afterwards, I found my family before my schedule could resume. But a stagehand said, no time for that, and dragged me to the Twitter green room. I was last to arrive for the Jackbox Games affair, as the stage manager approached with a very serious stare. Uh-oh. She said, I've been told you're the one with theater background to your name. She then handed me a mic and said, you're leading the Jackbox Games. No time for nerves or any objections, and they threw us on stage for our gaming session. Tabs kicked our butts the first round of play, then Samuel, the audience member, was a champion in the fray. A few hours later, it was time for Scribble Showdown, with Aaron, James, Jaden, Ross, and Dom performing downtown. I gathered up my energy and went to see friends I adore. I found the theater, but it was weird, because Angel Stadium was right next door. James nearly crashed the show's computer, though the file was not doomed. But near the end, Angel Stadium's fireworks show began to boom. The sound shook the theater. It was pretty hard to ignore, especially when it sounded like outside we'd gone to war. A fitting end to it all, if I say so myself. It finished loud and disruptive. One more VidCon for the shelf. To take a moment in the name of sentimentality and speak on the recap and this tradition's finality. Being featured at VidCon was a dream come true, and none of it was possible without the likes of you. My life has been changed, my horizon expanded, because you gave me a chance and together you banded to make a community so kind and so smart, who all pull together and speak from the heart. And as this final recap draws to an end, I look forward to next VidCon, 
and new traditions and friends. So all of you stay wonderful, and you will, I have no doubt. Thank you so much for tuning in, but now I must tune out. <laughs>